Okay, so this is your unit nine review. Um, the problems won't be as similar as they normally are, uh, but remember setting up proportions, reading the problem, reading the word not, will help you figure this out. So uh, first one, the data displayed below shows the number of reward po um, points earned per student for two classes. What's the difference between the center of both sets of data? So we're gonna find the medians, because another word for center is median. So we're going to find the median for the first one. So you cross one off, cross one off, cross, 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 cross. And I finally get this row left. The only row left is two, so my median is two. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to actually zoom it in so I can see it much better. So then I get four. So this is asking for the difference in centers. So the difference means it's track. So you're gonna do four minus two equals two. All right, Waldo and Freddie caught fish one weekend. The dot plots below show the uh, lengths of the fish they caught. What statement about the lengths of the fish caught by Waldo and Freddie appears to be true? Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna read through it and we're gonna determine which one's true. So the data for Waldo's fish and the data for Freddy's fish is skewed right. Okay, so we really have not talked about what it means to be skewed right. So what it means to be skewed right, whoops, means that the, most of the data is pushed to the left. So I'm gonna say pushed to the left, okay? So if it says skewed right, it means most of the data is on the left. Well, so it says that the um, that Waldo and Freddy's fish are both skewed right. Okay, well, that means that majority of their data should be right here, okay, on the left. Well, it's not. The data is actually pretty evenly distributed between the number line. So G, so F is wrong because that's not true. So G, the median length of the fish caught by Waldo is greater than the median length length of the fish caught by Freddy. Okay, so we're going to find the median for both. So um, the median, I'm actually just, just uh, save some time, the median for Waldo's fish is 19. So this is 19. And the median for Freddy's fish is also 19 as well. Okay, remember just cut, cut down on the dots like this. And when you cut down you know, evenly you get to 19. Okay, so G is wrong. Next one says the range for the Freddy is greater than the range for Waldo. So this is the range. Range will be 21 minus 15, which equals six. And this is the range for Freddy, which will be 22 minus 15, which is seven. So be fairly careful on this one because it switches around. This time it puts Freddy first. And it says Freddy's range is greater than the Waldo's range. That is true. Okay, and the last one. The data for Waldo's fish and the data for Freddy's fish are approximately symmetrical. What approximately means they're like perfectly symmetrical. So symmetrical means if I drew a line down their graph, they would have the same number on, on the left side and the same number on the right side. That's not true. Okay, next one. Below is the data from randomly sampling 100 students in two different cities regarding their favorite color. Which of the following inferences cannot be made based on the data above? Okay, A, more students in Westlake like blue than Overland Plass. Okay, so here's blue. And so it says that is true, but we don't want a true one. Okay. Uh, B says all students in Overland Pass like green. Okay, so here's green. Well, there's a lot of students that like green green but this says all students like green okay well let's put a maybe so c the number of students who like red is similar between the two cities well here's red 20 and 21 that's similar and not there doesn't mean they're the same but they're very similar so that's true and then finally d um the purple is similar between the two cities that's true as well so the answer is b because that is false 
All right, look at the data below from two random samples of 100 students' favorite lunch for food from two different schools. Which of the following uh, comparative inferences can be based on the data above? Okay, comparative inferences means to find which, what can you make, what statement is true from the data. Okay, more students like pizza at Kennedy than at Arnold. That's false. There's 48 students at Arnold and there's 37 at Kennedy. Okay, most students at both schools like either pizza or cheeseburger. That is true, okay? Not many people chose salad. The highest number of students like cheeseburgers at both schools. That's not true because at Arnold, it's higher for uh, pizza. Okay, most students like salad. <laughs> well, that's just completely false, okay? Because it's the lowest number for both schools. So the answer is G. Okay, below is the data for randomly sampling 100 people in two different cities regarding their favorite fast food. Which of the following is not true? So residents in Maypearl prefer quick chicken and cheesy burgers most often. Okay, Maypearl, here's quick chicken and then cheesy burgers. That is true, they're the most highest. Okay, if 100, if 1,000 residents were polled, the results would be somewhat proportional. That's somewhat true. Residents of um, Inus was or are almost twice as likely to choose bomb burritos. Okay, that is true as well. If I multiply fifteen by two, you get thirty, which is close to twenty-seven. So that's true. D. Residents in uh, the chose quick chicken about half as much as residents in May Pearl. That is not true. So the answer is D. Okay. Next one. Mr. Anderson made the following box and whisker graph of the quiz grades in his chemistry. What's the median quiz grade for his class? So his, cl his quiz grade is right about here. And I would say it's 77. So the median is 77. Okay. Um, he created a box and whisker plot showing the points scored by the Bulls basketball team of the entire season. Uh, he also created a box and whisker plot of the points scored by the Bears, a rival team of the Bulls. The Bears had the uh, same median score, okay? Let me zoom in. Oops. Might be a little bit too big. Okay, so the Bears had the same median score during the season. However, the IQR, the interquartile range, was 19. So the, this is the Bulls. And down here is the bears, which doesn't tell you, it doesn't show you the box point whisper plot, it just tells you about it. So the only thing that we know is that the bulls and the bears have the same median and that the interquartile range for the bears is 19. So we need to find the interquartile range for the bulls. So we need to find the IQR. So the IQR, so this is 65, and let's say that this is 53. So we're gonna do Take the ends of our boxes, we're going to do 65 minus 53. So 65 minus 53 is 12. So it means that the bull's IQR is 12. So the bigger the IQR, the bigger the box. So the plot of the bull's scores must have a larger box. Well, that's not true because the bear's IQR is bigger. This one says the plot of the bear's scores must have a larger box. That's true. C and D are false because we're talking about range. We don't have enough information to figure out our range. Okay. In a random sample of citizens in one town, 21 out of 200 people were left-handed. So what are these as the best instances? Well, we're talking about percents. So let's find the percent of these people. So 21 out of 200 people equals X over 100%. So you cross multiply, you get 200X equals 2100 and you divide by uh, 200 and when you do that you get 10.5 so it's about 10 percent so a says about 20 percent of all people that means they're talking about the entire population in the world we cannot make that inference we're only talking about one town so a is wrong b says about 10 percent of the town as of right now that's correct because we're only looking at the town C says about 10% of all people. Nope, we're not doing all people. And it says about 20% of the town is left-handed. No, because we're not, it's not 20%, it's about 10%. So the answer is B. Okay. 
A random survey was conducted at the movie theater and the results are shown below. What do the following can be inferred from the survey? Okay, the survey may have been conducted in opening night of a horror film. All right, that may be true because there's a lot of people at a horror film. Well, let's disprove the other ones. There were a lot of small children at the movies. Well, it does not tell me anything about the people's age, so wrong. Most people surveyed like comedy the most. That's false because there's more, there's more action and more horror. No one in the theater liked drama. That is, again, false because there's 38 people who did go see drama. That's wrong. So F has to be correct. All right, and the last one is just a repeat of uh, number eight, okay? So um, watch this video, practice the review, we'll look over your worksheets that we've been doing. Um, you'll see some a lot of similar, if not the same problems we've done. All right, thank you guys.